Alright guys, so I think having you practice this block letters two ways is going to be a good use of your time because all three of these are so different and a little bit tricky and so I think practicing letters going back in space in different directions or in different spaces is going to be useful to you. So I do want you guys to practice this two ways. Um, you can check out the, vid the videos on how to do this vertical, how to do this diagonal, and how to do this horizontal. I'm going to show you two different ways to do 3D letters going horizontally. You'll do one on the horizon line and one in the foreground here, one up front. So that's how this is going to look. So I already practiced my vertical and my diagonal. Diagonal was kind of the easiest and kind of the trickiest at the same time. Horizontal I think is pretty easy as long as you figure out which direction you're going back in space, okay? So just like before, we want to get our bubble letters or our block letters ready to go here. So I can do that either with making guide letters or I can just bubble it out right away if I know how to do that. That's just fine. My B is really far over, but that's okay. So I'm just bubbling out here. And there's my O. Alright. So I've got my block letters that I'm going to work from. And then just like we did vertically, we need to find all our potential points, so all our possible points. And remember on rounded objects like an O, or an R, or an A, or an S, we're looking for the very outside edges that we can find. Straight letters are easy because they give us the points. Don't forget about tricky ones. Alright, let's see how it goes. So just like vertical practice, touch the, her the vanishing point on your horizon line, touch the point on your letter, and head back into space. Just like we practiced over here, you can kind of cheat them, you don't have to go all the way back if you feel confident about what you're doing already. Rounded letters, we're looking for those very outside edges. Once I've got my guidelines heading back into space, then I can start my cutoffs. Just like on the vertical one, whatever's happening in front needs to happen in the back. We're going to try and keep that quarter inch depth for this practice. Okay, you can vary your depths, but that's a little more advanced. Let's stick to keeping the same depth for this practice, okay? So whatever happens in the front needs to happen in the back. About that quarter inch back. Whatever happens in the front needs to happen in the back. Keeping that quarter inch. Remember those vertical lines and those horizontal lines can be a little tricky. I need to really pay attention to exactly what's happening up front there. I'm going to get rid of the guidelines for that L so I don't get confused. Alright, so whatever's happening in the front for this rounded letter, move a quarter inch back and that needs to happen in the back. Just like we practiced on bubble letters before, you can make that inside piece. So I have this in my front piece, so here's what's happening in the back there. On this V, there's nothing really down here. I'm just going to double check that because it seems a little goofy, but it's correct. If I tried to use that point, it would go through my letter, so I'm going to leave it. Whatever's happening in the front needs to happen in the back. And if you are trying to do verticals and horizontals and it's getting like weird, it doesn't look right, then please, by all means, use your ruler. Just take your ruler or your straight edge or your book or whatever you're using at home, your cereal box, and scoot it back that quarter inch. Use your ruler, scoot it back that quarter inch so it doesn't get confusing. That was more than a quarter inch, but that's okay. Close enough. And then with my S, whatever is happening in the front 
move back a quarter inch, and that's what needs to happen in the back. That's why I give myself this little dot sometimes, so I make sure I stay on track. And then down here it gets a little tricky, like right here seems confusing, so I'm going to go right here instead. Whatever's happening in front happens in the back. And now I can see, oh, this is what's happening in the front here, so this is what needs to happen in the back here. This is what's happening in the front here, so this is what needs to happen in the back here. Okay, this guy here. This is what's happening in the front, so this is what needs to happen in the back. And that's everybody. Guys, remember, it is just practice. So if something goes wrong, you have a letter that looks really goofy, you're feeling frustrated, take a break, come back to it. I'm not expecting perfection, I'm expecting progress. And that's what we get through practice. All right, let's try this horizon line letters and we will be done with this practice for today. Okay, so we've got Mrs. Norberg loves. We're gonna go art up here. Block letters, that's okay. Use your guide letters and then block out around them. Okay, there's nothing wrong with using what works. I'm gonna get rid of my horizon line that's going through my letters because I won't see that anymore if my letters are on the horizon line. Okay, and this is going to be a lot like this R right here. I'm going to find all these points. Alright, so I've got all my points on my horizontal word on the horizon line. Just like we've been practicing, touch your point, touch your vanishing point, and head back into space check every point. And that one's going to go through my letter, so I don't want him. And that one is going to go through my letter, so I don't want him. This one I can use. That one's going to go through my letter, so I don't want him. And this one I can use. Okay, and so my A I only had one, two, three points that I could use, but the same idea still applies. Whatever's happening in front here, Move back a quarter inch, and that's what's happening in the back. Whatever is happening in the front here, move back a quarter inch, and that's what's happening in the back. That one looks a little goofy because there almost should be something right here, but it's right on the horizon line, so we can't see. Can't see it. Okay, whatever's happening in the front here needs to happen in the back there. So this line is diagonal. There's a diagonal inside there. And that's it for my A. Starting with my R now. Same idea. It's going to feel funny because it's overlapping, but this is kind of what we practiced when we did graffiti before with overlapping. It's just getting more sciency about it. More exact about it. Okay, so my R point, and then my very outside edge of my rounded letter. And that one I cannot see because it's going to go through my A. That one I can't see because it's going to go through my R. Right here. This one I can see. I'm going to head back underneath my R here. This one I can see. It's going to head back underneath my R there. That one's going through my R. That one's going through my R. And any outside edge over here is going through my R. Okay. And then whatever I have happening on the inside here is going to echo on the inside. Like that. Whatever's happening in the front is going to happen in the back for my cutoff, quarter inch back. Whatever's happening in the front here is going to happen in the back here. Whatever's happening right here up front, I need to move back that quarter inch and have it happen in the back. Whatever's happening in the front needs to happen in the back. That one's kind of goofy looking. Line in there to get rid of. A couple tiny little ones right here. Okay, and I was doing that cheating so I didn't have to go through my A. And we'll do the same thing with this T here. Start from this bottom point. I'm going to head back, but once I get to the R, I'm going to stop. There's no reason to go through my R. Using him. Whatever is happening up front here, I'm going to move back that quarter inch back to my R here and have it happen in the back. 
whatever's happening up here needs to happen back here. Well, that's just a straight line. Whatever's happening here needs to happen here. And if I go a quarter inch back, I'd run into my T, so I don't want to do that. I'm just going to draw it right here. And that's it. Okay, so letters on the horizon line, right on the horizon line. We don't have that much to do, but it can, it can get confusing because we're running into the letters that we previously were working on. All right, so hopefully that helps you guys out. Good luck. Well, that's it for this practice. And I will get to showing you how to do prompt C, your own city, in just a little bit here. Take a break. And you either come back later today or come back tomorrow, whatever works for you. Good luck, guys. Thank you.